Sunita? Yes, um, I want to first go back to the question about whether Narendra Modi cares. Um, I think he cares deeply that India continues on this murderous path. That's what he cares about, because he was born and raised and has cut his teeth in the RSS, which is a far-right, I would say, fascist organization that um, its blueprint is to render India a Hindu nation where Muslims and Christians don't belong, have no rights, don't exist. That is where Narendra Modi was formed, and this is, this is the path that was laid down in the founding documents of the RSS. When in 2002, when the Gujarat carnage took 2,000 or more lives of Muslims, he, when he was asked to comment, he made, he made a comment that showed just how much he cares, that he, he cares as much as if a puppy was killed in the road. That's how much he cares. The real question is, does India care? And they will, they will tell us next year in the election if they care about the fact that in states like Uttarakhand, we mentioned, there are black crosses. It's so chilling, placed on Muslim houses and businesses. And people, Muslim families, Muslim, Muslim business owners have to flee for their lives. Around India, hundreds of Hindu citizens come together and take group oaths not to um, give their business to Muslims. This is what is happening in India's civil society. This is happening under our watch. This is what is happening. You asked about my faith, Hinduism. They are Hindu. The, my family, my community is Hindu. They're devout Hindu, and they have taken, they are veering, careening to the right, and they have lost their way. They do not, they do not see what is happening. They are reading the misinformation. They are getting lies on their WhatsApp, and they are willfully blind. That is, that is where we are, and I know because I'm Hindu. Some of us, the people who reach out to Hindus for human rights, some people are awake and alert. We are the vanguard. Not in our name is what we say. You asked about Hindu religious leaders that are speaking up. I don't want to say their names because I don't want violence to happen to them. But Swami Agnivesh is no longer here. He was one radical monk that always spoke against this hatred, always. And he died in part, his life was shortened by two brutal beatings by Hindu nationalist mobs. Though, and if you look at the attendance at the Parliament of um, World Religions just last month, you will see that quite a few Hindu religious leaders spoke for unity. And there's one beautiful thing that happened just a few days ago. In, so in December 2021, hundreds and hundreds of saffron-clad Hindu religious leaders, women and men, came together in the holy city of Haridwar and openly, proudly, you can see it on YouTube, called for a genocide of Muslims. That was heartbreaking for a Hindu like me and the people in my organization. A few, but there's hope. There always has to be hope. A few days ago, on the 16th and 17th of September, 25 Hindu religious leaders gathered in that same holy city of Haridwar for a peace gathering. It's 25 in a country of a billion point four. It's a drop in the bucket, but we need that drop in the bucket is our, is our salvation. And so the real question, sir, is do we care? And if we care, what are we going to do when 100,000, 200,000, some astronomical number of Muslims or Christians are killed in a catastrophe that is about to happen? What will we say? Will we say that happened on our watch and we're sorry? It'll be too late. Thank you. Uh